Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. Today we have a quick video for you about buttons, specifically about how to add buttons side by side in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. I have a standard 1-1 one -one container column combo here, and I'll add a button element to it. By default the alignment of the button is text flow, and so the button sits to the left of the column. If I now clone the button, we can see the second one sits underneath the other one, in its own row within the column. Why is this, and how do we change this? Let's say I want two buttons, but I want them to be next to each other. There are a couple of ways to approach this. The first way is to change the layout of the column. If I edit the column here, we can see an option here on the General tab called Content Layout. There are three option values here, Column, Row and Block. Column is the default, and this uses Flexbox positioning to control the layout. This means that the column itself, and not just the wrapping container, will also use Flexbox. For children of such a column, it means that they will get stacked, so in short each element will be in its own row as it is here. A content layout of row, however, means the main axis of the container will be like the text direction. In this case, children get positioned on the same row, so next to each other whenever possible. Positioning starts from the left and from the right on RTL sites. Child element floating positions like the button alignment option will be ignored. So if I change the content layout to row, we can see the buttons are now next to each other. And if I change the alignment of this button to right, it's ignored. So how do we control the positioning here? With row, we can use the column content alignment options to position the buttons, to the left, middle, or right. Or we could use space between, space around, or space evenly to distribute them in the column. We can also use the element margins for spacing control. So for example, if I want my buttons centered, I could choose center alignment, and then edit the buttons and add some margins to separate the two. So here I will edit this first button, and on the design tab, I'll add 20 pixels margin all around. Then I'll just delete the other button and clone this one again. So now we have two identical buttons centered in the column and separated by their margins. What about block? the third content layout option. As the description says, if block is selected it will not use flex positioning and will instead allow floated elements. Block means CSS display block, which is the default layout of a div. It means that the children will position as they declare themselves, and that the column won't impact that. So if I set this to block, our buttons are still in the same row, as they are set to text flow. But if I change one to center, it moves into its own row, but if I set it to right alignment, both buttons happily coexist in the same column. But let's go back to row. For multiple buttons in the same row, this is the go-to setting. And of course we can have more than two buttons. If I go to the navigator and keep cloning the buttons, in this example I can get six buttons in the row. Obviously the size of your buttons and your screen size will determine how many you can fit on one row. Ok, let's delete this column and look at another method. This time I'll just add a one quarter column and add a button element. I'll also just go to the design tab and set the button span to yes. So now if I clone the column itself three times, we now have four buttons side by side each in their own columns. With this method it doesn't matter what size the columns are, they can be whatever you want. So if I delete one of these columns and make the middle column to be one half, then we have three buttons with a bigger one in the middle. Now with this method you have the added options of individual column spacing. If I edit the container these columns are in, and set the column spacing back to 0 pixels, now only any margins I set are at play. And you can of course also set the column spacing individually in each column if you prefer. So there are a lot of spacing and positioning options here. So next time you want to add multiple buttons together, remember there are several ways to do this, and you'll be able to lay your buttons out on the page in pretty much any way you want to. Ok, this concludes our video on how to add buttons side by side in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.